Hey. 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 It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human, and there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Stop. I get it. I'm nervous. What if you make the wrong choice? Can I make a wrong choice? That's one I don't really have an answer for. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even now. My world may fall apart, you'd still be here. Of course. Though you did handle your panic attacks just fine on your own lately. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own.
If Declan arrives, he's gonna see the car. He'll know someone is here. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Falling off is the least of my worries right now. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. I think all that stress got me there, but I'm better now. I've got myself focused and together. I'm with you on this. It's good to hear you're back. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We don't both need to do this. You can go home if you want. Maybe you should. You're sweet, if a bit overly macho. I know the risks, but we haven't done too bad so far, right? So good try, but you're not getting rid of me that easily. Let's not waste time, then. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. 
Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. I have to think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. I make even a single mistake. There are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick. He murdered Dennis. And he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. I could try going for his gun. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Declan came a tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still has, has it on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone, Dad. Take, Take it from me. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's, He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. I could grab his gun, but that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. Get off! Get down! Anna! <laughs> Declan can't see me. I have to use this to my advantage. Strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the jump on him. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. You know Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy, destroy the evidence. And since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. Declan might go for his gun.
That man is a monster. And he'll kill, kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, it'll be traced back to him. And he's been covering his track so far. Declan might attack me now. Declan tries to get his gun, he won't see an attack from the left. Give me the evidence. They'll maybe take it from your dead body. Here. I hope you choke on it. If I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing... I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. Anna almost got shot again. I can't make any more mistakes. could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. I could try calling for help. Anna's really, really hurt. That ugly yellow phone may be the only way, way to get her help quickly enough. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll probably, probably keep an eye on that phone. Save Anna. We you dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Declan, Anna might have, have time, time to, get to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. Declan is focused on me. I have to make this moment count. Going for the phone would bring Declan's focus onto me. But if the phone gets damaged, I might not be able to use it later. coming to help you. I need you to stay with me. I need you to...
This is one funeral I can't avoid. Sam, got a moment? I hope you know you've got my honest sympathies. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, I wanted to tell you, we found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. Dickie's statement also corroborates your testimony. No charges are going to be filed against you. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. You and the Basswood police have a lot to answer for. A lot. We do. Declan pulled the wool over all of our eyes. All I can say is, we're all just people. Ain't no such thing as the Basswood police. Just people entrusted with power. And Declan, as terrible as it seems he was, was not always a bad person. My sin is failing to see the man he became, rather than the one he once was. Don't make it sound like a small oversight. He was part of a drug ring. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Anyway, I guess I've kept you long enough. I'll let you go now. Look after yourself, Sam. You can tell a lot about people just by paying attention. Well, I'm paying attention now. I wouldn't have made it without you. Hey, Ethan. Sam? I'm, uh, not sure what to say. I know you and Anna were close. I I'm sorry about what happened. I appreciate that. Hey. Oh, you're never gonna apologize for breaking in, huh? What an asshole. But I guess you have other things to worry about. It's been a hell of a week. So, you, uh... Holding up all right? No, I'm not. I never thought I'd have to bury Anna one day. Yeah, you and me both. Listen, uh, next time you're at the Haven, let me buy you a beer, all right? I'll probably take you up on that. Never thought Declan could fall so low. Can people change that much? He looks so lost. It's been a rough week. Yes, it has. Maybe the roughest I have ever seen. And I've lived almost twice as long as you. It's making you think it's finally time to retire, huh? <laughs> of course, you could tell. You've always been the best at finding hard truths. And, uh, I don't know if they told you, but I was the one who found Dennis's body. Just there in the office. Seeing him like that, it makes you think. 
I'm not sure where I'll go from here. What about you? Did you have time to consider what comes next? I'm not planning to stay in town. Nothing for me here anymore. Hard to blame you. I might leave as well, if I'm being honest. You said you need to ride until you can't anymore. Well, I don't think I can now. Any idea where you'd go? None. But I have money saved for retirement. I could waste it traveling with my mother. See the world. Live life instead of writing about it. And you might think about doing the same. Life is short and fleeting, like the sunset. If you pay attention, it can be beautiful. If you don't, it's gone before you even know it happened. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Make sure to look after yourself, Samuel. You were just an unlucky bystander. I don't think talking is going to make either of us feel any better. Bug? I know how you feel. I miss her so much. I wish I hadn't given Anna such a hard time before. She didn't want to be a stepmother and well, I didn't want to be a stepdaughter. Now, I don't know. I'll never know if it could have been okay. I shouldn't have told you about my dad. You sensed that something was up. Why well, apologize for being right? That's true. <laughs> it just... If I hadn't said anything, this wouldn't have happened to Anna. But I was so mad about my dad. So mad that I couldn't even cry. Well, I couldn't until now. Until I finally knew what happened. And that makes me feel selfish. Like all of this happened because of me. Come here. So, it's not my fault? It's not your fault any more than mine. Do you think it's my fault? Then there you go. Sam. Of course, she just walks off. I don't know how to reach that girl. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising given what happened. This town has no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't. But it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor, and forget about us for good this time. <laughs> oh. 
I'll leave them to it. Not the type of situation I can help with anyways. Sam, we really have to stop meeting like this. Did you change your hair? You seem different. Joe, I'm... I'm so... He promised. He promised you'd keep her safe. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. Old. Broken. Why didn't you kill that bastard sooner? Why'd you let him take my little girl? Should've... Have... My little girl. My little girl. I'm sorry. I just... I know you did all you could. I'm, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. For what it's worth, I'm here for you. It ain't worth nothing. Anna was... she was... words. You spend your whole life devoted to them, yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her. I miss her. And, uh... And I don't think I have anything else. I think you managed to give voice to the feelings of many of us here. Do you mind if I speak a little? I didn't know her as well as most of you. Of course, of course. Anyone can speak if they want to. I only knew Anna for a few years. But within that short time, she impressed me with her strength. She understood what really mattered wasn't herself, but something greater. The community around her, her friends, her loved ones. She was a true defender of the common good. The kind of person who's always looking after whoever is standing next to her. She was fearless. You only needed to look her in the eyes for a few seconds. Common good. I've heard that before. 
Common, common, good, common, common, good. 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 Know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Out the way, out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Check on Joe. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. Compromising was never her way. She was ready to pay the ultimate price if it meant getting the truth out. Because Basswood meant more to her than her own life. We will honor her memory by keeping what she fought for. This community together. It's the least she deserves. There's drugs in them hills. That would have been Nick's title for this article. He would have started with a self-deprecating tirade about how he couldn't resist the joke. It would have been a good opening. He never wrote that article. It would have been about greed, drugs, and lies. Nick was found dead on the side of the road. It was called an accident. It wasn't. Now let me tell you a story about the men who murdered him and about the truth he died for. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small-minded town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior, who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. Keep a ghost whispering. When I eat the ghost hunger. When I need the ghost wonder. What it's like to be fed on the path. the dreams that 
don't 